Hello guys, welcome back to Coding Cafe. My name is Mohamed Ali. So in the previous tutorial, by using the new and latest version of Firebase Recycler adapter with the uh, Recycler view, we display all the uh, contacts user that is our chat list basically on our chat list or you can say on our chat fragment we display all the users to whom we will talk or to whom we will send message so now in this tutorial what we are going to do is that is whenever a user click on uh, any profile that is let's say if i click on this sasha clan then it will uh, send me to that user uh, to that user chat uh, activity that is i will then uh, start uh, messaging or you can say I can then send message to this user which is Sasha Glenn so yeah how we can do that go to the end of studio and uh, here we left in the previous tutorial which is our firebase recycler adapter so what I'm going to do is uh, inside our uh, first of all uh, cut this code okay and we have to add a validation by using this data snapshot for all the data okay so we can say if data snapshot dot exist then paste your code inside here so yeah that's it now after that uh, as i told you whenever a user click on any item here from the recycle view that is let's say mohammed ali share then it should get that uh, id and then uh, we can go to the chat activity for this user so what i'm going to do here by using the holder object which is basically the object of our chats view holder class so here we can say holder dot item view and as you know that this item view is the object of our view in the holder class if i show you then this one okay view item view which is this one so you can see this so we can set click listener on that set on click listener new on click listener and now inside this so it will uh, now this code what it will do that is it will get that item that is on which item we click that is let's say the four then it will get this item and if we click on jennifer carter it will uh, get this item i mean uh, whatever uh, whenever and uh, where the user click then it will uh, get that item so once the user click on any item from the from here that is let's say mohammed ali share okay if he click if a user click on it then we want to send a user to the other activity which is our chat activity so we can give it a name as chat intent equals to new intent we are on the fragment so we have to get the context by using this get context chat activity you want to send the user to chat activity dot class make sure to put a semicolon and then we can start the activity for the chat intent and now what we want is to that is if a user click here then we want to get the that username and the profile picture if you want okay but we will uh, get the name and the id of that user and we will send it uh, to the chat activity from the chat fragment so in order to do that by using the chat intent we can say dot put extra and we can uh, give it a name as uh, let's say visit underscore user underscore id and we can pass the user ids to it that is i want to visit this user okay i want to visit this user that is uh, on which i will click okay so that's why i give it a proper name and this user id is basically uh, the ids which we are getting from the database i hope you remember that i explained these things in the previous video tutorials so yeah now uh, also we want to send this uh, username alongside with it so i can simply copy paste this and we will change it for the username so copy this paste that here and here we can say visit user name and change this to ret name so it will uh, send the user from the chat fragment to the chat activity alongside with this data which is the user id and user name so we can go to the chat activity and here we need to get this data so how we can receive that user id and user name here for that we need to create here a string type variable for the id we can simply say message receiver id you can give it any name you want 
and but I use proper name for it okay because in the future video tutorial we will send message to that these users so that's why I give it proper name message receiver name and now here inside this own create you can say message receiver ID equals get intent dot get extras dot get and here we have to pass the same key name which is wizard underscore user underscore id so pass that here and we have to convert it to string so this will get the receiver id from the chats fragment and let's copy paste this for the name so you can say message receiver name and here we have to pass the same key which is for the user name now just to confirm we need, we have to display it inside a toast message but later on we will uh, change it okay so the context is the chat activity so i can simply say now chat activity dot this and let's display first the receiver id okay and then the receiver name by using a toast message so i will simply copy paste this and let's pass this uh, message receiver name to it first of all uh, before running the app make sure to i mean this is not a string because we are receiving it here okay you can see this okay and also remove this quotations from here we are going to display it properly okay so yeah that's it now let's run the app so our app is running now successfully and now let's click on reza for you can see it send us to chat activity and you can see this read of poll now let's click on uh, Muhammad Ali share and here you can see the ID of that and Muhammad Ali share and now let's click on any other account that is let's say GR Roberts and here you can see the ID and then the name of that user so in this way we have successfully uh, passed the ID and the username from our chats fragment to the chats activity now what we will be doing in the next video tutorial is that uh, here we will uh, display this username here at the top uh, in this toolbar and also we will display the user profile image of this uh, user okay so yeah that's it for this video and if anyone is new to our channel then please subscribe our channel coding cafe thumbs up for this video and see you guys in the next video bye for now